Solomon, also called Jedidiah, was a monarch of ancient Israel and the son and successor of David. According to the Hebrew Bible and the Old Testament that he is described as having been the penultimate ruler of an amalgamated Israel and Judah. The hypothesized dates of Solomon's reign are 970, 931 BCE. Solomon was born in Jerusalem, the second-born child of David and his wife Bathsheba. The first child, a son conceived adulterously during Uriah's lifetime, had died during birth. It is suggested in scripture that this was a judgment from God. Solomon had three named full brothers born to Bathsheba, Nathan, Shamua, and Shobab, besides six known older half-brothers born of as many mothers. The biblical narrative shows that Solomon served as a peace offering between God and David, due to his adulterous relationship with Bathsheba. In an effort to hide this sin, for example, he sent the woman's husband to battle, in the subsequently realized hope that he would be killed there. After he died, David was finally able to marry his wife. As punishment, the first child, who was conceived during the adulterous relationship, died. Solomon was born after David was forgiven. It is this reason why his name, which means peace, was chosen. Some historians cited that Nathan the prophet brought up Solomon as his father was busy governing the realm. This could also be attributed to the notion that the prophet held great influence over David because he knew of his adultery, which was considered a grievous offense under the Mosaic law. According to the biblical account, Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. The wives were described as foreign princesses, including Pharaoh's daughter and women of Moab, Ammon, Edom, Sidon, and of the Hittites. His marriage to Pharaoh's daughter appears to have cemented a political alliance with Egypt, whereas he clung to his other wives and concubines, in love. The only wife mentioned by name is Naamah the Ammonite, mother of Solomon's successor, Rehoboam. The biblical narrative notes with disapproval that Solomon permitted his foreign wives to import their national deities, building temples to Ashtoreth and Milcom. In the branch of literary analysis that examines the Bible, called Higher Criticism, the story of Solomon falling into idolatry by the influence of Pharaoh's daughter and his other foreign wives is customarily seen as the handiwork of the Deuteronomistic historian, who are held to have written, compiled, or edited texts to legitimize the reforms of Hezekiah's great-grandson. King Josiah who reigned from about 641 to 609 BCE. Scholarly consensus in this field holds that. Solomon's wives women were introduced in the Vajogianic edition of Kings as a theological construct to blame the schism on his. Misdeeds. The Bible says Solomon built the first temple in ancient Jerusalem, dedicating the temple to Yahweh, or God in Judaism. Solomon is portrayed as wealthy, wise, and powerful, and as one of the 48 Jewish prophets. He is also the subject of many later references and legends, most notably in the Testament of Solomon. In the New Testament, he is portrayed as a teacher of wisdom excelled by Jesus of Nazareth, and as arrayed in glory but excelled by the lilies of the field. In the Quran, he is considered to be a major Islamic prophet and is generally referred to as Suleiman ibn Dawud, lit. Solomon, son of David. In mostly non-biblical circles, Solomon also came to be known as a magician and an exorcist, with numerous amulets and medallion seals dating from the Hellenistic period invoking his name. Thank you for watching the life story of the Solomon don't forget to like and subscribe us. Thank you.